Hi, this is Learn Norwegian Now. I'm Marius and in this video we will look at a common mistake that I see a lot among learners of Norwegian and that is interchanging the words tenker, tror and synes. All of them can be translated to think in English but unlike their English counterpart they cannot be used interchangeably in Norwegian so it's very important that you learn the difference and natives might not even understand what you're saying if you use the wrong one so in this video we will look more closely at the difference between tror, tenker and synes Tror is used to describe something you believe to be true or we'll talk about the future. So, for example, Jeg tror Norge ligger i Europa. I believe Norway lies in Europe or is in Europe. Uh, so, in this case, uh, you believe or I believe that Norway lies in Europe. Jeg tror. Uh, in the other example, uh, we talk about the future. Jeg tror jeg kommer til å flytte til Norge i fremtida. I think I will move to Norway in the future. So this is something you believe uh, to happen in the future. Okay, let's look at tenke, which describes the cognitive act of thinking. So, for example, jeg tenker på dig. I think of you. So, this is something you do in your head, uh, you know, cognitively. Uh, and also for the second example, jeg tenker, derfor er jeg. I think, therefore, I am. So, in both these cases, you cannot use tror. You have to use tenker. Synes, which is used to describe an opinion or to come with an opinion. For example, Jeg synes hun er vakker. I think she's beautiful. Or Hva synes du om filmen? What do you think about the movie? So, in cases where you express opinions, you have to use synes or, alternatively, mener, which can be used as a synonym of synes, but it might be a bit more assertive than synes. So, in the example I've chosen, jeg mener at du bør skifte jobb, or jeg synes at du bør skifte jobb which can be translated to I think you should change job. And now to some exercises. Which one is it? So you have to uh, pick one of them. Tror, synes or tenker. So in the first one. Jeg, mm, det kommer til å regne. I think it will rain. So is it tror, synes or tenker? Jeg tror det kommer til å regne because it's something you believe will happen in the future. Okay, the next one. Jeg mm, kake smaker godt. I think cake is delicious. So pause the video and make up your mind. Jeg synes Kake smaker godt. Because it's an opinion. It's because it's something you think subjectively. All right. Mannen. Mm, at det bor hundre tusen i Stavanger. The man thinks there are 100,000 people living in Stavanger. So which one is it? Uh, pause the video and uh, think about the answer. Right, it's mannen tror at det bor 100 000 i Stavanger. Because it's 
believes it to be true that there are 100,000 people in Stavanger. So you have to use tror. Hva mm, du på? What are you thinking about? Pause the video. All right. Hva tenker du på? Because it describes the cognitive act of thinking. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can send them to me uh, on email. Uh, you find the email in the description. Uh, and there you will find a link uh, to both my Twitter account and uh, to the website for the podcast uh, and for uh, these videos. Um, yeah, check out the podcast as well. Bye bye.